So we've just learned about the um, artist Jen Stark, and we're going to create uh, a, one of her paper sculptures, or our own version of it. And so we're going to start out, I want you to pick out several colors. I'm going to try to bring as many colors as I can. Um, with the first thing that you do, of course, we would have by this point looked at some different shapes and things if you have a certain shape you want to do. Um, so what I'm, do, I'm going to do is I'm just going to make up a shape. I have folded my paper and I'm going to start with the smallest shape first. So I'm, I've folded my paper and I've just made up a squiggly wiggly shape here. Um, I'm going to trace over it with my black marker so you guys can see it a little bit. This is just a totally made up shape of course. And we're going to keep that folded and cut. And we'll have a symmetrical shape of some sort. Um, I do want you to have a symmetrical shape, which means it needs to be the same on both sides. And once you have that first shape cut out, the rest is going to be a lot of repetition. Okay. So we're going to open this. Kind of has a butterfly look to it. Um, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to decide what color comes next. I think I'm going to do my yellow. And as I decide what my next color is going to be, and I like to use the very corner of the paper just to make sure I'm using every uh, bit of the paper. So I'm going to put it down here near the corner, making sure I have enough room around it. And I'm going to trace around that shape as close as I can to recreate it. It won't be exact. As long as it's close, it'll still work for what we want to do. Okay? So we're just going to repeat that process until we have enough shapes to create our sculpture. And I might give you a number um, of shapes that you might want to try to get to once we have completed this whole process. So I'm going to go through and make the rest of my shapes and let you guys watch um, as soon as I get done cutting the second one. And then we'll see how to finish up this whole process. And again, you can do a specific shape like a flame or a heart or you can make up a shape like I've done. Either one's fine with me. Okay, so, and keep these extra papers. You're gonna need them again, more than likely, as you'll have to do more than one in this color, more than one in each color. So, the first one should fit inside that second one, just like so. And so we're gonna go on and do the rest. 